Folks, we are underway. We're just going to uh, head to the trailhead. We're just going to cross a little bridge there. It's a, it's a nice little bridge. Got a nice view off it. When I get up there, I'll give you a show. So, rookie mistake. 1,000% rookie mistake. The stove that I use is a pocket rocket. Don't have it. Didn't bring it. Don't need the fuel anymore. Thankfully, I brought my titanium cup and pot and I can use it um, in the fire because I've done it before. So I'm gonna have to improvise today and uh, go from there. I'll just have to have a fire on the beach in order to cook supper, so it should be fun. So we're at the beginning finally. That's the full footpath, <clears throat> which we'll be doing in a month or so. But for now, I'm just going to Sealy Beach, so it's 8.2 kilometers. So let's get going. Stairs are a reoccurring theme on the footpath. Uh, they can be your friend and they can be your enemy, depending on how nice the day is. So everything's going awesome so far. It's a beautiful day. Temperatures are great, a little warm in the sun, but we're in the shade a lot. We're on the footpath, having a blast already. A little sad. I mean, the last two years, I mean, I've hiked with my girlfriend and it's really kind of changed how I looked at hiking because I found I was always wanting to share experiences with people and see all these views and awesome things and then uh, you know, nobody to share it with, which I think is sometimes important. Not always have to be alone, because I do a lot of things on my own. Oh, look out, look out, look out, ah, yes. Wow. Just a beautiful day. A little hazy, but, man. I'm a jackass, I know. Two kilometers in, easy peasy. So I'm pretty bummed about uh, not bringing my stove. Just a plain rookie mistake, as I said. Um, it's all good. I, I'm going to have to make a little fire on the beach and make it happen. If I don't, that's fine too. I think I'll survive. You know, it just adds a little adventure to the adventure. You know, it, you don't always plan on everything going right. Um, this was a last second thing and I did a trip checklist and I saw it on my list but I actually just didn't register that I hadn't put it in my uh, my cooking pot so it is what it is so we're gonna have a little fun tonight hopefully some sort of fire at least get something warm to eat and maybe a coffee or tea or something and uh, got some adult beverages uh, actually adult beverage more like it so I brought a little fireball Never had it before, like, well, I had did in a long, long time ago, so I'm not really entirely sure what I'm getting myself into. And we'll go from there. It should be fine. Pretty good. Went 4.4 uh, kilometers, I'd say about an hour, maybe a little more. I'm not going too fast at all, I'm not pushing the pace. Almost 4K Sealy. But we're gonna go get some water and uh, take a little snack break. Hungry already, haven't eaten much today. On the go, go, go. Just ran into a couple hikers, two guys. They were just finishing up. They were craving some beer for sure, trying to wrap it up. And I, they're glad they came to uh, St. Martin's. Hard stuff first, easier as it goes once you head out. And uh, I told them, I said, well, my thoughts is maybe Cradle Brook is probably the, the most annoying one. I think, no, all of them are a bitch, really. <laughs> Pretty much so. And they can be tough, they can be really tough, but they're lucky they got good weather. So, all right, we're at Long Beach. 
So I use a Sawyer mini filter to filter my water. Pretty handy. It's a little slow, but I'm not in a hurry. Thing to keep in mind though, there's a gasket in the filter for this bag and any other bag. Don't let it fall out. Because if you do, it doesn't get a tight enough seal and then it ends up spilling and then maybe tainting your water and then you gotta start over. It's happened a bunch of times, so definitely be careful of that. Probably can't see it, but way off in the distance, that's Martin's head. It's kind of blending in with the coastline. That's day two coming from that side, halfway, maybe a quarter of the way, halfway through day two. So it's uh, such a nice day out. I figured I'd do some trail maintenance, you know, help out folks that take care of this trail so well for us. You know, you got to do your little part when you can because, you know, you got to jump on the opportunities. There's some dedicated folks out here that, uh, you know, need our help. So we just got to take our time. At this rate, 100 meters a day, no problem. All good. Well, we should be getting there pretty soon. I'm going for a fair while now. I had that snack a while back and I'm already getting hungry. It's amazing how much work you actually do. And you don't really notice it. You're also thinking a lot too. And that uh, takes up calories. So Almost there, I hope. I think we're on the downhill. Got uh, some new shoes, some Columbias that I'm trying out. I've had them out for a couple months doing my day trips and stuff. A lot of walking in them, a lot of foot foot miles if you will and uh, wanted to try them out good opportunity to try them out on this trail and I think at the end I, I, there's one theme that, that's consistent just watch your footfalls don't step on edged rocks or roots if you don't have to look for the soft landing and you'll do yourself oh sorry about the sun there you'll do yourself a favor because even today I stepped on rocks and roots and wasn't really thinking about it and now you can start to feel my feet swell and even in uh, trail runners which is what I will use probably when I do the footpath and I probably won't use these I might I don't know I haven't really decided yet so the crux of it is is that you know when you're walking uh, make sure you watch your steps don't land on you know sharp edges if you don't have to because it doesn't matter what shoe you're wearing it's still gonna cause pain over time and swelling so yeah, it's just, you just got to be smart about it. Hashtag, don't be a dumbass. Welcome to Sealy Beach. our destination please put all your carriage up in the upright position and don't forget your luggage in the overhang part. and uh, if you have anything to say just shut the f up and enjoy what you do all right? all right so sorry about the wind it's gonna be loud there's two possible campsites that I like hopefully neither of them in use hopefully one of them will be left for me uh, Kind of sad face if there's nobody here. I think there is nobody here by the looks of it, but sad face. But sad face. Leave no trace. At least we try. Ooh, that. That's great. A bit windy, but that's okay. So I'm probably gonna put my tent right here. But I'm just going to double check to make sure there isn't something a little bit better back here where it's a little less windy. These are one of the units you can store your food in overnight, which is great. It's so neat to have them. However, sometimes they're pretty gun well, pretty ugly youth because of people taking advantage of throwing their garbage in there. Let's take a peek and see what we can see here. Hmm. Extra tarp. Beaten up plastic bottle and look at that noodles. Huh left on July 30th. Very nice.
could come in handy. Hey guys, I hope you can hear this. Uh, the wind's kicking up, so I came over here to try and get some defilé for the wind, but it's coming around. Thought I'd give you a quick rundown on what I brought today. Um, so my total base weight today was around 11 pounds. <laughs> that was not intended. I forgot my pocket rocket, so that means I left my fuel behind. There was no sense of keeping that. I didn't take my sit pad, and there was another item I can't remember what it was that I didn't bring that dropped at least a pound. It was a little under 12 pounds when I started, so it should be around 11 pounds right now without food, water, or fuel. Total weight came to around 14 pounds. That's two pounds of food and about a pound of water and a pound of special something for later. I'll give you a quick rundown. So again, around 11 pounds base weight, uh, super light. It's considered lightweight. Anything below 10 pounds is, becomes ultra light. I was going to shoot for that, but I just felt like that might have been over the top. I needed things like chargers and phones and stuff like that, so it really adds into the weight. So there are things I could have taken and didn't need to take, but I bought what I thought made me feel comfortable. So, so first thing I have here is I'll just get this out of the way. These are the poles for my tent, and I have my ground sheet, which is Tyvek. So we're just going to lay that out so I don't get everything too dirty. My backpack is an Exos 48, uh, 48 liter medium waist belt, uh, 2 pounds, 5 ounces I think, so it's super light, very comfortable, form fitting to the body. Uh, not for everybody, but it's definitely a light backpack, $250 or so. Again, sorry for the wind. Uh, got my water bottle, of course, and that Tyvek poles. Um, I didn't bring the uh, brain or the head of the pack because there was no need for it. I got everything in here so easily it's not even funny. I actually let everything decompress a lot. Um, got my tent in here, which is the rainbow, as you've seen. Uh, titanium mug and uh, pot set with spoon. My puffy. Now, I didn't bring a rain jacket, it's supposed to be nice. And if it did rain, this would be more than fine because of the fact that. Uh, that uh, it, it stays warm when wet, it's not down, it's synthetic down, so it's a little bit different. And that's about 11 ounces, so it's not too bad. My tent's about two pounds, five ounces with stakes, poles, and all that. Five ounces or so, maybe 4.8 ounces for this guy. And I can't remember what this guy's, but he's super light, it's titanium, so. Um, some cords, uh, a scoop for water, which I'll probably need later to fill up my water bottles. Um, that is my food bag, so again, two pounds there. This is my utility bag, I'll come back to. And last but not least is my sleeping bag, which I won't take out right now. And uh, my Thermarest sleeping pad, which is one pound. And the pillow, the inflatable pillow from Sea to Summit's 2.6 ounces. If I had brought the pocket rocket, that's 2.6 ounces. The fuel canister was another eight ounces. The sitting pad was 2.5 ounces. So, you know, it adds up pretty quick when you want some luxury items, but <laughs> consider making food a luxury item at this point. So I'm going to have to build a fire, unfortunately. So that's my, uh, that's my rough weight. Uh, so about around 11 pounds. I mean, I don't know exactly. I broke my scale at the last second, so I had all the, most of the weights already entered in. So, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. And I uh, always want to help people out if you have any questions on how to get lighter and what to think about and how to spend your money. I, I spend a lot of time researching stuff, something that I do, and I get kind of obsessed with it. So feel free to ask questions, guys, because I'm more than happy to give you my opinion. And it's not the gospel. It's just what kind of hike you want to hike, and that's the reality of it. I'm going to put this crap away, and I'm going to get <laughs> something to eat because I am starving, and I need to make a fire to do that. So that kind of sucks. So I'll get water, set up the tent, get a fire going, get some food. Go from there. Talk to you in a bit. No screwing around tonight. Anyway, I can get a fire going. Oh, she's going to roll. Come on. There we go. Wow, that's, uh, that's 
awesome. It absorbed perfectly. That's the problem with cold soaking it. it uh, titanium loves to burn in the flames. It's when it cooks stuff. It's just the way it is, I guess. I'm hungry. supper that's tea that's juice and that's cheese so the parmesan tastes great with the ramen getty tea's awesome as always fire is awesome as always cheese definitely awesome not so sold on the drink it's okay but we'll save it back to the fire oh no back to the beach oh there we go uh -huh. yeah, all right folks supper's done it was delicious dishes are done letting them dry off now uh, not much left to do I got a fair bit of firewood not a ton I can grab a little bit more down the way I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sit back and enjoy this adult beverage which is fireball cinnamon whiskey it's gonna be strong I think but we'll see and I got a couple snacks for later uh, sun's going down slowly only got another couple hours of light maybe which is fine uh, yeah, and I think I'll take a beach walk here in a little bit. Uh, get cleaned up, get the sleeping pad all squared away, and uh, take a beach walk and take you guys for the walk as well. Yeah, great day. I love fires too. Fantastic. I'm gonna have a drink of this fireball, see how she goes, and then we're gonna go for a walk and watch this beach basically sunset. I don't know, it's kinda hard to say, like the sun's already kinda down. But I'm gonna take a nice walk down the beach either which way. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, that's really good. It's hot but not not killer killer hot. That's awesome. Nice. I like that. All right, let's go for a walk. We gotta get more wood on the fire before I leave, and then we'll uh, go from there. Hey, folks. I uh, went for my nice little walk, but uh, it was way too windy. They couldn't really record anything of, of value. Met a nice little couple. They're out doing a day hike with me, the same hike as I just did. They're out hanging out. Well, it's a beautiful night. I am going to sit down and have a few drinks and enjoy this fire and uh, get my puffy on. It's a little chilly. I'm glad I brought it now. I wasn't going to. And uh, yeah, go from there. Have a good night. morning folks beautiful morning today uh, I'll give you a shot of the sunrise here in a second uh, it's a little misty but still quite good uh, nice and warm loving it you might not see this so well because it's pretty low light it's about 5 30 in the morning got up super early didn't sleep very well so I figured I'd get up and get cracking and uh, it's light enough to get hiking I got my headlamp on for the moment but I think I'll be fine in the woods I'm gonna give that a go so I got everything packed up some uh, coffee in my belly got about eight eight kilometers back I was gonna do the parkway but uh, it would actually kind of double the length so I figure I'll just walk the trail back and uh, yeah so great trip so far uh, probably won't record too much on the way back in because you've just seen it all but if I uh, have anything interesting for you to look at I'll surely turn on the camera so until then
Whoa, whoa! Separate, separate. 